I find myself drawn to the words of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, ships that pass in the night and speak each other in passing. Only a signal shown and a distant voice in the darkness. So on the ocean of life we pass and speak one another. Only a look and a voice, then darkness again, and a silence. How do relationships and organizations, you think, stack up with Longfellow's observation? Do you think technology has accelerated our relationships or hindered them? And is there any way to gratify those human needs that infiltrate our workplaces in the oddest ways? You know, our needs to be accepted, respected, and valued by others. Like a blooming flower, relationships take time. In the ethos of our organizations, we're called to cultivate and nurture the people around us. Sunlight, water, time, and a host of other hard-to-trace forces work their complex magic. There may be no shortcuts to forming relationships, but the shortest distance between two people is a story. Draw the stories of people around corporate imperatives, and then watch how people are drawn to each other and, in the process, become more engaged performers. But we've got to be vigilant in these story endeavors. The path to relationship is wrought with traps. You see, we tend to see the stories we expect, tell the stories we need, and only listen when we need to make sense. I want to share with you a family Valentine's Day tradition. Before you are these beautiful cards and these handmade hearts. And it may look like these just appeared overnight. But in fact, these represent years of time, love, and care. And maybe that's what we need to remember about relationships and organizations, is that they don't happen overnight. They do take a lot of work. We are like passing ships. But if we give it some time, some care, some love, and of course share our stories, we're bound to succeed.